With the passion of becoming an integrated communications and technology services player in the region, operating a converged mobile and fixed network platform, and offering a wide range of innovative products and services, Turkcell believes that it is important to offer its customers the full range of mobile, fixed and broadband services to meet their expectations. Now, I would like to invite Ismail Bütün, the Marketing Executive Vice President of Turkcell, to share the company's passion and motivation with us. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So, my name is Ismail Bütün. I am the Chief Marketing Officer. First, let me welcome all our foreign visitors, foreign guests, friends to Turkey and uh, wishing them enjoyable stay during their stay. And all the participants who are now here and having a, a great summit and full exploitation of this summit. So I think a special thanks to the organizers, Afshin and uh, Inflow together, all the Inflow uh, organizer team, uh, because I believe this is a celebration of making an impact, making a positive impact on the society together, together with you, together with the brands, through our collaboration and through our uh, creativity. So, Turksal, as you have seen in the, in the short movies, a very brief information about Turksal. Turksal was born here in Turkey 23 years ago as a mobile operator, connecting people to life, to each other, and then throughout the years, expanded its services from mobile to fix, and from Turkey to neighboring countries. At the moment, we are operating in nine countries in the region with our converged offers from mobile to fix, and also our digital services, which are globally competitive and relevant throughout the region and even globally. So we are serving at the moment more than 50 million subscribers and our brand essence, as you have seen, connect to life. That's all about our, our passion. Our passion is human connection and real connection. So after, I would like to open a special chapter about our digital services because at the moment, we are in the beginning of a perfect storm. Why perfect storm? Because the technology is changing and the, the landscape has, has been changing a lot. And there is this digital reality in the world, right? We have a lot of services using and exploiting, and especially you are as the influencer. I mean, you cannot live, we cannot live without those services. And we have also decided to redefine our business from network provider, the connection provider, to digital experience provider. So how are we going to do this? We are going to do this with introduction of an excellent services, which are globally competitive and relevant, of course, and throughout the day to accompany the needs of our customers. So to give you uh, some examples of these services, for example, our business, our BIP, our instant messaging services, today are downloaded almost every country in the world, and we have customers all around the world. Our music, digital music services, Fizi, is much bigger than Spotify in Turkey, and most recommended services, TV+. And some other services, like Dergilik, where we are offering more than 350 magazines and newspapers every day, everywhere in Turkey. And people are able to have access to those services wherever they are. Even in the southeastern of Turkey, let's say in Hakkari, we track and people are able to, uh, able to read the magazines that they like to read. So just to mention our digital audio guide service, which is PIRI, launched last year. PIRI is offering exclusive guide services in some cities like Barcelona, Roma, Istanbul, 
and London and so on. It has been improving and from language-wise also, now expanding its portfolio. Last but not least, I would like to open and mention a special uh, chapter for our app, which is called Hello Hope. That's Merhaba Umut in Turkish. So, as we all know, Syrians, millions of Syrians, had to leave their country, their home country, back to survive from war. And those people, especially the biggest portion, came to Turkey. Today, we are hosting more than 3 million refugees. And this refugee crisis is recognized also by the United Nations. It's one of the biggest in the history the world has ever been seen. So as a brand, connecting people to life, making an impact, making an influence on the people's life, we were thinking how we could help those people being here integrate into Turkish society and making their lives easier, improving their lives in Turkey. So we launched our app called Hello Hope. Hello Hope is designed specifically for Arabic-speaking Syrians. It offers different services inside. There is a direct translation, so the person is speaking Arabic and it translates into, into Turkish immediately. There are some English, there are some uh, Turkish uh, language courses inside, so Turkish language uh, skills are improving. And also there are some essential services access. So if those people need to go to hospital, to healthcare services, right, to security services, to government services, what are they gonna tell? How are they gonna tell their, their problems, their needs? So we put inside a lot of this kind of health uh, card views. And up to now, I can proudly say there are 6,000, 600,000 users, active users of this app. And until now, 400 million times the Turkish language cards were viewed, meaning we were able to help those people 400 million times whenever they, they are in the need. And also, the translation wise, also, there is a huge number. What is important, I think, we have to highlight here this app is free free of charge, nothing is charged. And also it's all access, meaning if the refugee is not Turkish subscriber, he's still able to use this app. So that has been recognized many times by international authorities also with some awards. One of them to mention is GSMA. GSMA is the mobile operators, global mobile operators board, and also by United Nations. So we are very proud, very proud of being part of this, uh, this contribution as, uh, with a hell of hope. So I move to other stories. So the stories that really connect us and remind us as a company who is able to offer superior technology, but not limiting itself to only technology. So take the example of Hassan. Hassan is living in southern, southeastern town, Mardin. Hassan is making, Hassan is making uh, prosthetic limbs for disabled animals. And he describes himself as life mechanic, hayat emergency. He says, I am life mechanic. So we have heard his story and uh, talked to Hassan, and he said, I have an ambition, I have a passion. I would like to help also disabled human being, making the same thing for human. So we presented him with 3D printer, and he started doing this for human also. So, and Hassan has allowed us to share his story with, with, uh, with Turkey. So his story, I will not share here, uh, the, the movie, but it's, uh, it's in YouTube. I can share afterwards. I move to another story. 
imagine you are a music teacher and you're assigned to a school where all the children, all the students are unable to hear. What would you do? You are a music teacher. So it's all about music, hearing, and hearing disabled students. So Funda teacher, Funda, Miss Funda, didn't give up. And she taught and she decided to, to first learn their language, the sign language, and establish a kind of connection with those kids, with children, and started really getting the fruits of their work and established an orchestra called Whisper Rhythm Orchestra. You cannot believe how they dance. So there is also a, a movie uh, in YouTube I can share later for the sake of timing. I don't, I don't share here. But if there is a wish, there is a way. So Funda, uh, Funda teacher has showed us and we took self, were, uh, we were also contributing this project uh, and we are very proud to, to make a positive impact on those, on those people. I'm moving to another story, which is also a true story. Uh, Elif. Elif is a, is a student. She cannot, she cannot see. She's blind. She's studying at a school where we are supporting, as a part of program, uh, education with no barriers program. Okay, so Elif like to paint. So how, how she would paint, and thanks to the, the, technology, the technology class that we provided, and the story goes on now. I will share the video of Elif. burada herkes çıktı. Ödev yapıyorum. E hadi çıkalım ama geç oldu. Ben kimim? Elif. Bildin. <gülüyor> Canım. Anne. Numaralar dersler yoğun galiba. Birkaç gündür geç çıkıyorsun da. Ee, Sen saçlarını mı kestirdin? Yo. Tamam. Bakalım bunda ne varmış? Eli. Kızım ne yapıyorsun burada? Herkes çıktı. Şey soracağım bugün okulda yaptığın neydi? Ben kimim? Anne sen saçlarını mı kestirdin? İyi ki daldın anneciğim. Sen de kızım. Bu resmi Elif yaptı. Ne de olsa Elif ve arkadaşlarının yapamayacakları hiçbir şey yok. Türksel Engelsiz Eğitim Programı ile Teknoloji sınıfları ve meslek atölyeleri şimdi 84 okulda Türkiye'nin hizmetinde. Elif gibi daha niceleri hayallerini gerçekleştirsin diye. A couple of weeks ago, just two, three weeks ago, as a brand, we have been working on another group and decided to help those group as well. Hearing disabled group. And we have launched another app called My Sign Language in Turkish, İşaret Dilim. İşaret Dilim is able to, is able to offer, uh, in terms of content, one of the richest content in the world as a mobile platform. It is establishing a bridge between people who are not able to hear and those people who are interacting with them, 
because there is a dictionary inside, there is a kind of direct translation and some news for those people. So for this specific project, there was a very good intention and we shared the objective, our passion with the social media influencer in Turkey. They voluntarily participated in our project. So let me share the video. So we just launched the app uh, within a very short period of time, within 10 days, we have achieved an, an amazing results. Uh, more than 15 million reach and 6 million views, almost 60,000 engagement and also awareness, which is quite important, awareness about the project. So uh, this project again has showed us that if we can have the right project with the right influencers, we have the results. So, I know everyone in this room is very much focusing on new trends, new topics, new technologies. So we have to follow. And to some extent, we are a trendsetter as well, right? Uh, but technologies change and it evolves and every technology has, everyone also has its own life cycle. And whatever we see now maybe will not be available in 10 years time. So, but what endures is the real connection with the human being. Today, people are talking about driverless cars, right? Humanless cars, humanless warehouses, humanless this, humanless that. But all of these developments are for what? Let's not forget all of these are for the human being, for making human beings' life better and improving their lives. So we are, as Tuxal, we are an influencer brand. So we touch, we are able to touch the lives of millions. So as the influencers, as you are the influencers, if we can come together for the right projects, we can really make a positive impact on the society. So we really look forward to, to new projects. And I would like to uh, thank again for, for listening myself. Thank you.